Sagittarius. Welcome to December. This is your December 2015 tarot scope. And this is Gwendolyn of Readings by Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards here, and then we'll get right into the tarot scope for December 2015 for Sagittarius. Let's see what we've got going on. <clears throat> so Sag, it looks like the month opens up with you working on something. Uh, there's a project Usually three of coins is some sort of project that you're working on, and sometimes it can favor group projects. Threes are social numbers, so, and, <clears throat> excuse me, three of coins in particular is a collaboration on a project. So it looks like the month opens for you with um, group projects favored, collaborations. Um, usually in this card, in the, in the Rider weight, there is the person who's actually building something, and then there is the architect, and then the person who's going to be using the building. So group projects are favored. Um, sometimes, too, this card can mean the artist card, or it can also mean, um, like, working on something that, that you want to see the effects of, being proud of the effects, uh, the results of it. So and it usually means working on something that you're going to share with someone else. So that's how the month of December opens for you, Sag. And there may be someone who is um, a little bit difficult in regards to that project. This is a um, queen of wands or queen of staves. She's also a queen of fire, so that represents fire signs. So that could be another Sagittarius, a Leo, or um, an Aries person. And because they're in the reverse position, they may have some conflict with you in regards to this project. Or if this represents you, Sag, since you are a fire sign, this could be, um, you know, that you're having struggles with working on this or that it's turning you upside down in some ways. Um, in some way, there may be a way in which... Um, you know, you're in alignment with a new beginning that's not being allowed to come to the surface. Ace of Cups is a new endeavor, a new project, a new beginning, and it's an emotional fulfillment card. So this is a card of feeling joyful, feeling like, I call this card, my cup runneth over. And because it's an ace, it's usually a new beginning of some sort. And the fact that, um, this person, now this could be you, Sag, because again, it's a fire sign. The fact that this person is in reverse and with this new project, for some reason they may be blocking um, the new project from happening, or they may be, um, you know, you may have to get past them with this, with whatever collaborative project that you're, you're working on or social project. You may find them as a roadblock before you can begin something new that goes into delay. Um, so in other words, you may complete this one, but that it, it could be that you're sort of in your own way about having doubts or fears about beginning a new project, or that this is someone who may have, you may have conflict with more than likely a fire sign before a new project can begin. Um, but it does also look like at the beginning of the month that the tables are turning, wheels are changing, time, time is changing things. This is Wheel of Fortune, which means that the seasons are changing. Whatever used to be on the top is going to be on the bottom, and what used to be on the bottom is going to be on the top. As this wheel turns, you know, it's the, like the table's turning, the season's changing, tides are turning. So the way I'm reading this first part of December for you is that the beginning may be social and working on something. You could even be working on projects around the house, or this could be at work, or if you're an artist, you could be, you know, busy working on your stuff. Um, but that there's someone at the beginning of the month that it seems to be a bit of a hurdle, a fire sign, who, um, whether this is yourself or if it's another fire sign, it seems like they're presenting some sort of roadblocks before this other new project that actually you're going to love uh, can start. It might be a, like a fear of starting something new, or it could be that you just need to um, step aside from that person or they're presenting conflicts for this new thing to happen. 
But once it does, you'll actually love it because it is Ace of Cups, which means emotional fulfillment. It means joy. It means my cup runneth over. So notice that at the beginning of, of December, Sag, times are changing. Tables are turning. So it looks like if this queen is in a top position here, she is going to be overthrown. She is, you are going to be able to get past that, but that needs to happen before this new thing can begin. Um, in the middle of the month, I see that you have a couple things going on. You, it looks like you've been through some sort of battle. This card is Five of Swords, which I call Picking Up the Pieces. And this is looking back at something that um, the sun has set on. It was open conflict that has happened and the battle's now over. And these, are, these swords are like spoils on the battlefield that you pick up. And because they're swords, they're thoughts. Swords represent the mental realm. So this is like collecting what sort of thoughts, what sort of ideas, what spoils from the battle can you collect so that you actually um, benefit in some ways from the altercation that happened. Whatever battle happened, how is it that you can learn from it? How is it that you can... Um, take something away from what had happened. And you may have someone who is is interested in helping you with this. This is a Queen of Cups. So this is someone who is a water sign. So that's Cancer, um, Pisces, or... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And um, they actually... This is a good card of someone who's intuitive. This is someone who is loving and tender-hearted and compassionate. It's Queen of Cups, so she has a compassion for all life. And she may actually have some insight for you about walking away from this open battle and being able to take something away from it. Um, there may have been something that happened that, you know, is done with, is completed, but she may say, she may help you with reflecting upon it and saying, oh yeah, I learned this, or now I can gather this experience from this. Um, so if you, in the middle of the month, if you have a water sign person who can help get you through something, that's going to be helpful for you, Saj. And she may, you know, and there may be in some ways in which she plays a role in, um, this relationship here. She's in line with two of cups which is lovers, and this queen of rods, which is upside down. So, Sag, if you are involved with a water sign at all, there is, there is, it is an alignment with relationship here, but one person's upside down. That could be, that could very well be you because this is the fire sign being upside down. So there may be a way in which she has some insight in regards to this relationship, or she's sort of seeing things clearly in line with the relationship, whereas the fire sign is upside down with it right now. There's also the sun shows two people <clears throat> in reverse. So sun is usually very vibrant, very positive card. In fact, even in its reverse position, it's still a very positive card. But it tells me there may be some way in which you are not shining forth your natural radiance. Normally, Sages are like upbeat, powerful, optimistic, you know, generous hearted people. But with this sun in reverse, um, you know, I'm seeing the Queen of Rods in reverse, Sun in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. There's just a way in which I kind of get the sense that you're like an airplane that can't quite lift off the ground. There's some way in which you're, you're just being held down by a little bit of a fog or something. Um, but you might get some insights from this Queen of Cups person. So if you have a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer person who's gonna who's near to you in the in the middle of December, see if you can rely on their insight because they might help help you turn things around by the end of the month, especially regarding relationships. And it looks like things do turn around because you do have two of cups here at the end of the month. Um, and this is an exchange of hearts. Cups represent heart energy. Um, so this is like two people exchanging hearts. It's it's one of the best cards for a relationship there is. So if you've got, you're going through struggles, if you feel a little bit um, tampered down in the middle of the month, I mean at the beginning of the month after you finish a project, know that the wheels are turning. And if you feel like out of sorts in terms of any relationship dynamics, look to a Queen of Cups type person 
um, because they'll help you turn it around. And it looks like things can turn around very quickly towards the end of the month. This is Eight of Wands, which represents news or information. I think it's related to these insights, actually, that this Queen of Cups person can help provide you with. Like if there was, it, you may be actually, fr because this is in line with this project, after this project completes that you are working on at the beginning of December, Sag, <clears throat> after this project completes, you may be feeling at a loss and not knowing what to do with yourself because the sun has set on that, on that chapter or that cycle. And it may be that you may be mourning something about that. You know, chimes change, tables turn, um, especially at the beginning of the month. And then you may have to look at this battlefield and say, oh gosh, what, what can I collect from that? This Queen of Cups is going to help you. And with that insight, it may be the insight that you need to move on. Because Eight of Wands is information. It's stuff coming swiftly to us. It's new news. It's new information. And it's what unlocks the puzzle piece. You can see in this, Eight of Wands is 80 to 90% complete. And so it means things are lining up, things are coming to completion, and you may get some insights regarding especially a relationship. It may be what you need to um, change things from the couple being in reverse to being, you know, ex exchanging hearts. So, and it may also have something to do with forgiveness. This card judgment um, has to do with leaving the ghosts of the past behind. So in this card, it's the trumpet, it's the fiery trumpet of revelation and people are in their graves and they're coming up um, to be judged, essentially. It's the last judgment. But a lot of times this card for me, I read it as forgiveness um, because I do see it as leaving our old selves behind, leaving the ghosts of the past behind. So you may want to call into question if you are having any issues, especially in the middle of the month with regarding relationship and it's kind of taking away your natural sunny disposition, Sag, because you are a very sunny person naturally. You naturally represent, you know, all this fire stuff, which is sunflowers, the sun, vibrancy, enthusiasm. You've got all that fire sign energy. Use the, the renewing fire of forgiveness to help correct any relationship problems and they will looks like they will resolve towards the end of the month you're gonna find some peace and balance and order and really and calmness um that's in line with things changing this wheel of fortune through forgiveness and you find this calmness this equanimity this temperance and this balance at the very end of the month so it looks like, you know, Christmas time or around the holidays towards the end of the month may be a very sweet time for you, but you're going to it's going to require you to receive this information, these insights, perhaps of something that has ended, something that has changed, like when when these tables turn, when this wheel changes things, you may look back on things and say, you know, how can I gather information? How can I gather insights from it? Uh, a Queen of Cups person will likely be of service or of help to you to gather those insights. And this information is going to help correct things and make things sweeter for you, especially in terms of relationships towards the end of the month. And and actually, one thing that Hierophant and Temperance both have in common is, you know, this is an angel. Um, and this is someone who's very connected to the spiritual world. Hierophant represents... Um, standardized religion, traditional religion. He represents spiritual insight. He represents doing things on an outer social way. So you may actually have a nice spiritual connection through your heartfelt feelings for this other person. Or it may be just that your attitudes towards relationship, you get a new spiritual insight, or you're able to connect in a very spiritual way that brings you this calmness, this stability, this, um, you know, just sort of a sweet feeling of peace is what I get for you towards the end of the month, Saj. So that's my reading for you, Saj, for December. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, again, just to recap, working on a project at the opening of the month, you may need to 
um, bypass conflicts regarding a fire person to begin a new project, or if you have doubts about beginning a new project, um, you know, you're going to have to overcome this. And then tables will turn, you know, time will naturally change things. And the end of a cycle, you will be able to um, get some insights from that. You may get some help from a Queen of Cups person. If you're having any relationship issues or feeling not so sunny in, the, in your disposition towards the middle of the month, employ forgiveness and rely on the insights that you got from the Queen of Cups person as the information to help turn around relationships, to have this sweet interaction, and then also this gate to this spiritual um, insight and peace at the end of the month. So that's my reading for you, Sag. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess one other thing I'll say is that you have a new moon in your first house in Sagittarius in your house of identity. So it could be a good time to sow new seeds. Um, you know, on the 11th, that's when the new moon occurs. It could be a good time to reinvent yourself over the next six months and sow the seeds or, you know, begin thinking about who you want to become over the next six months because it's a you may be feeling like your identity is changing a little bit something new who the new you basically um and then on the 25th uh on christmas eve we have a full moon in cancer um which is your eighth house of transformation and full moons usually mean um completions it's usually when things come to graduation climax completion um, when they come to the surface, when things complete. So something's happening for you in your eighth house of transformation. It's also the house of sexuality and passion, mysteries, um, depth, psychology. So something's coming to completion for you there, Sag. Um, and that'll be on December 25th. So again, that's my reading for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to put them below in the comments. And I love replying to everyone's comments. And I just want to say thanks again for watching. Yours in the stars. If you enjoyed the reading, feel free to check out my readings for the other signs. And also feel free to share on any platform, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching Yours in the Stars.